15th of 2020. Tonight we're mostly going to be talking about my uh, my choices for best knives of 2020. Got all those done and up now if you want to go uh, go look back at past videos and look at those. Um, I did under 100, 100 to 300, and over 300 this morning. I wanted to make sure to get those up before tonight because I really wanted to do this this way. And wow, this camera is crooked. Let's uh, try and straighten that up a little bit. See if I get it right. Yeah, that's a little better. Um, yeah, only thirty. What's going? Some holiday I forgot about. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It, it always it always picks up. Thirty is not. It's actually pretty average for uh, the beginning of a live stream. So we'll see. As as the new always. I just started it last time. Once we hit a hundred, we'll do little pocket check things. Um, but uh, we're not there yet. So once we hit a hundred, we always do. So confident we'll get to that. Um, yeah, Jeremy Russell, you said the Satin PM2 drops Wednesday. Of course it does. Of course it does when I am Baroque. Of course that's when it's going to drop. Lovely. I don't know why that's an exclusive. I'm so mad that that's a Blade HQ exclusive. I have nothing against Blade HQ, but man, why, why do you got to make that an exclusive, Spider Co? That should be just a production model we can all go buy. Because I really want a Tanto PM2, but I'm not going to be able to get it. So, Awesome. Thank you, Spider Co. and Blade HQ. You've ruined my night, Jeremy. Um, actually, my, my night's already ruined. Maybe I'll talk about that <laughs> later. My my week's gonna be ruined. So, um, uh, yeah. What is the uh, what is the beer for today? It's the same as the last two weeks. I bought a bunch of it, so I still have it. This is a uh, Genesee Twelve Horse. It is a holiday issue thing, and when it's available, I drink a lot of it because it's very very tasty and it's very inexpensive. So. Oh, my wife's on here. Hello, Lori. How you doing? Um, Labatt Blue. Ooh. I don't like dying. Nah, blue's not that bad. I do drink that when I'm in bars and stuff like that, and I have to. Like when I'm at comedy, often at comedy gigs and fire halls and towns with populations of 500 people, and that's what they have. I don't hate, I don't hate that. Tackle Central Fishing, your Jets are 0-13, and I'm very happy about that. We'll get that draft pick. Although, like, maybe we could win a couple now. I think we got that draft pick locked down now. <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about that anymore. But, uh, yeah, we're playing for the draft pick this year. Um, I I felt personally attacked by a sketch that was on SNL this week. Um, it was a parody of Newsmax, and it was called Sportsmax, and they just were insisting that the Jets had won every single game this year. It was uh, it was pretty funny, and then they also mentioned the Knicks, which I'm a Knicks fan too. <laughs> so it was a double whammy. <laughs> a very funny sketch, but I felt personally attacked. I know the Jets suck. I'm completely fine with it. Honestly, I prefer this to when they are um, when you think they're gonna suck and you're ready for it, and then they go on a five game winning streak at the end of the year and ruin their draft pick and still don't make the playoffs. That's their usual modus operandi, so I'm kind of fine with just tanking. I'm kind of all right with that. I've accepted it. Uh, I need Christmas present for my son. Don't want to spend more than a grand. Uh, what do you recommend for an EDC folder? Oh, more than a grand. There's a whole lot there. A thousand dollars. Can I be your son? Um, get him an eighty twenty if you can. Yeah, get him an eight. Get them an eighty twenty, and uh, you can get the the actual machine ground eighty twenty for that. And yes, we all want to be adopted by you now. Got some go Bills people. I'm just not a Bills fan. It's just I I think it's because I grew up with my uncles talking about them all the damn time, and uh, and I just got sick of hearing about it as a little kid. I didn't even care about sports when I was young, so I didn't care about sports till like my late 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 teens. So. It's just annoying. Yeah, get him a fancy Chris Reeve of some kind. I have it forever. There's a few out there, the 31s with the, the inlays and stuff. Got a TRM Blade Works V5 inbound this week. Does it compare to the TRM? I've never had the V5. The V4 was very nice. The reason why, speaking of the top we're supposed to talk about, of uh, um, the Knives of the Year, why I didn't have... The American Blade Works anything in there is uh, because they change them constantly, and it, like every every month or two, it was a new version, 
and it's like, which version do I put on it? And I just wound up not putting it in the top 10 because of that. Great knife, constantly changing. It's kind of confusing. So that's why I didn't, uh, didn't go on there. Good night, Lori. She's sitting downstairs. Uh, live in California, so must have two inch auto rail. Oh, you're talking about hopped. Um, Benchmade Gold Class Custom. I think those are a little bit of a waste of money. I like my Benchmades, but I think the Gold Classes are pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy. And your help, Slicey, Cold Steel, Bush Ranger, 8010. 8010. I can answer that one, Nesmuk, very, very easily. Uh, do you have the latest version? I don't have the five. I never got my hands on the five. I had the four. Yeah, it's just, it just got to be confusing when, and it's great that he's making constant improvements. I'm not knocking it, but it's just hard to pick which one to put in the, in the list. Now, if I get a five next year, early next year, I'll, it may still make the list for 2021 because it, the five just came out and I just didn't get one. So I'm still considering it eligible for next year. Basically when I do the video in my mind for awards purposes, the next year starts. So if I get a V5, you know, in a, you know, at right after the first year or something like that, it may still wind up in the, and, and he keeps it and doesn't change it again. It may wind up in the 2021, but that's why it wasn't in the 2020. I, I love, the, love the knives, love the dude that owns it, but they're just constantly changing and it was just utterly confusing. Um, Hill Slider. Okay, so I bought my son 22 knives this year. His favorite $16 folding chef's nice go figure. Yep, I'm in the same boat, Neil. Um, I've given my son like lots of knives and uh, lots of really good ones. I he knows he's completely welcome to raid my collection anytime he wants, and he carries a buck 110 or a 112 slim, even worse. Uh, anybody come out Riat's knife with removable blade? I don't like that thing, the Jack 2.0. I never really understood it. Uh, Taz's world, it's your fault. I got into hinders. I apologize for nothing. That's what I always say when people say that. Um, I do want to warn everyone. Um, I have some really cool content planned for this week, but it's kind of up in the air, and I don't really want to get into it a whole lot. But, uh, yeah, we have a, a, a very very ill dog and um i think that time's gonna come this week so um if i'm if i disappear for a couple of days uh that's why so um yeah yeah she's an old lady she had a very 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 good life but um yeah it's looking like it's time so we will see what happens um but yeah if i if i disappear for a couple of days and don't don't post videos that's why um, yeah, she's 14, had, has had one eye since she was a little tiny pup and had a couple major surgeries and, but sweet little girl, but yeah, she's old. Um, Neil Snyder, Slay Stace has cost me a lot of money this year, bought most of his recommendations for, for my son. I love the artistry, but never use an EDC. Wow. So you're just a benevolent father. You don't carry knives yourself. You just buy expensive ones for your son. Yes, I want to be a. I want. I want to be a, adopted by you. Yeah, we, we've lost a lot of dogs the last few years. Uh, well, I guess the last one was my dog three years ago. Um, then we lost one the year before that. And now this one, we're going to be dogless for a while. That is the plan. We have two cats we love a lot. We're just going to stick with the cats for a little while. And um, when we get a new house, get settled in, because we're planning to move in next year. I don't think about another dog, but uh, right now, for for a while, maybe probably even for a couple of years, uh, it's just gonna be just be the cats, just the kitty cats. You have a waiting list for adopted children. Well, put me on it. You know, you never know. You never know. I want free reign to raid the slicey cab knife cabinet too, Tom. It's not that impressive. I have one one crate that's kind of impressive, but I mean, I don't have any customs or anything like that. My most expensive knife is a little under seven hundred bucks, so. Um, but I, I do have several in that, you know, three to $600 range. So, uh, um, that's my, what breed is she? She's a, she was a rescue. She's an Affin Pincher Schnauzer Poodle mix. A little about 20 pounds, if that. And Neil Snyder says, I will never visit Rochester again. I grew up in Buffalo, went to college in Rochester. Why would you never come back to Rochester again? It's a great, it's a great city. 
I love it. Uh, my collection is so impressive. I don't even need a Pelican case. Well, I don't have a real Pelican case. I have an Apache, but uh, with the with the uh, nail pack foam in it. The foam costs more than the case. Yeah, maybe he's wanted in Rochester. You're right, Tom. That's my that's my that's what I'm gonna think. That's why Neil won't come here. He must be wanted. You know what? Don't worry about that. Our police are very inefficient. So if you're wanted here, you'll you'll probably be fine. Oh, we're over a hundred. So let's do the pocket check. What's everybody carrying today? I'll, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Normally it's something on camera, but today it was not. Uh, I'm making a wooden knife box. Yeah, I wish I had bothered to pay attention to my dad woodcrafting and all that stuff. Waypoint, let's go and it's on here. New large 31 Macassar. I don't know what Macassar means. Sheepdog XL. Flexin, carrying the big one. Lots of waypoints. Red Digicam Para 3, Millet Torrent. That's a good one. Oh, I've seen, yeah, I've seen yours, Keith. It's very cool. Giant Mouse Sonoma. Nice knife. Adam, another waypoint. Uh, AK-47. XM-18 Spanto. The Kaiser Swags. Um, PM2, a little native. Tie Bug Out. Tinkering the new PM2 Maxima XM24 Skinny Slicer. Oh, I would love to have an XM24 Skinny. Very jealous of that one. How do I get an Adam before Christmas, Neil? Uh, yeah, a, a secondary and hope? Not likely. Macassar is the brown wood inlay on the 31. Oh, cool. I didn't know that's what it was called. Uh, Darth... Darth Biblio, Par oh, Para 3 second for 79 bucks. It's not bad. I have. Hey, Stas, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Um, today, I was carrying the uh, my custom bug out, which is, honestly, when I don't have something to review, um, lately, this is what's almost always been in my pocket, to be honest with you. Um, it's uh, I love it. It's just really, really nice. I've always liked the bug out. This just makes it that much better. This is the M4 blade, of course, with the uh, purple... Purple little accents natch, but uh, I do love this thing a lot, and it's a uh, it's a great knife, and it's in my pocket a whole lot. If I was not a knife reviewer, um, I think th I could I could have this as just my only knife. I think if I was not a knife reviewer, but I am, so it wouldn't be. So I'm not saying this is my new. If there could be only one, but uh, if I was not a knife reviewer and just lived my normal life, uh, yeah, this this could definitely be the only one. Uh, NAF Sergeant pick up one of the Les George Spartans. Yeah, they are allegedly arriving tomorrow, both of the new, less expensive Spartans. But I don't believe it, because <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, the U USPS tracking status is that it left South Carolina, and all I have now is in transit, arriving on time. It's made no stops. So uh, I don't think it's going to. I do definitely have arriving tomorrow, though, because it's in Rochester at the post office. Um, I have uh, the Ferrum Forge new Warncliffe one, which names name escapes me right now. Um, Randy, did you find out where they're made? No, I'm going to give him a call tomorrow. Uh, I haven't talked to him over the weekend, so. Prolix, yes, that. Um, I have that. That's definitely arriving tomorrow. I think I got the carbon fiber one. I don't recall if I got the carbon or the G10. Um, but, yeah, I was guess. I think the new cheap Spartans are Taiwan. I was 99.999% certain just because uh, China don't do XHP very much. So that's, that's what made me think it was probably Taiwan. I wouldn't be surprised if they're made in the same place that does Spider Coast. With the new Farron Forge sitting at my house because I'm on vacation. Well, that'll learn you. Postal Service uh, shipping vaccines, so mail may be slow, I reckon. Oh, they've been slow forever. Because somebody decided to screw with the post office. Not going to get into that. Uh, how cheap will the cheap Spartans be? I think they're 110 and 145 I want to say the last George is like 140, 145, and then the uh, 
the one that's basically this, but less expensive and very slightly smaller, um, is uh, 110. So cool. M two three seven. I just ordered the Fair and Forge Lackey fixed blade tonight. Actually, that that is uh, that's a very cool. That's a that's a fixed blade that definitely absolutely tempts me. Now, depending on what happens with uh, my dear little puppy dog in the next couple of days, supposedly um, tomorrow um, afternoon I'm supposed to record something, a little chats from the truck with the boys from Fair and Forge. So uh, pretty excited about that. I like those guys a lot. And it'll be fun. It's going to be a, a three-way call because they're in separate locations at the moment. So uh, it'll be cool, though. Um, I hope they realize that the Stinger finished second. I don't know if they do or not. <laughs> but, but I do love the Stinger a lot. It is a, a great, a great freaking knife. Um, but it finished second because this is nearly as good and it's $40 and you can get one. So that's probably, that's mostly why. Uh, this, they're going to keep making these all the time, but, it, and same with the Civivi, but yeah, this is just a little bit less available and was barely under a hundred bucks where this was well under a hundred dollars and it's going to be even more available. But um, yeah, uh, love, love the Civivi Ortis. Great knife. Um, little update, by the way, guys, go to the community page on my channel. Not now. Sit here and watch this. But when we're done here, go to the community page, and you can vote on the top three in each category. And then on uh, New Year's Eve, I'm going to say what you guys picked. So that'll be fun. Um, Jerry Russell, nothing with FRN should ever win anything. You have not seen this FRN. It is not the same. But I agree with you. I'm not a big FRN fan either, but this is really nice. And that's, honestly, the FRN is part of the reason why it won in my mind, because I don't know what they do with this stuff, but it does not feel like FRN. I would have totally thought that it was G just kind of mediocre G10. I would have never thought it was FRN. Um... Tom, can she having a hard time voting when I haven't handled any of them? Well, you know what? Every, nobody, it doesn't stop anybody else. So <laughs> just vote. Uh, I want the Stinger and the Prolix and the Malice. Oh, wait. I have a, I'll have a Malice very soon. Yes, you will, Mr. McKenzie. It's, it's already uh, all, all packed up and everything. Actually, I think, it, I think I dropped it off yesterday. I don't remember. I'm so confused with stuff that I picked up and stuff that I dropped off and all that. I think I dropped it off yesterday. I didn't. I don't, I don't recall. I remember printing the label, but I can't remember if I dropped it off yesterday or not. Um, are there any other FRN Civivis? I feel like yes. I'm not really sure. Have you looked at the Leatherman Free T4? I think I have. Is that what mine is? I think I have one right here. Oh, no, I have the, P, I have the P4. The T4 is the one that's more like a knife, right? Yeah, I had... um. I, I I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I almost bought one when I was at REI a while ago. But I didn't. The Wyvern, yes, you're right, that one. Not as nice as this, though. The FRN on the Wyvern was kind of... This is this is really nice, FRN. Uh, 8020 is at 69% noise. Um, hey, Slick. Uh, any thoughts on the Bear Ops Rancor Titanium Frame Lock S35 VN? I've mixed thoughts on my... Dave, I will be a completely honest with you, Dave McDonald. I got one, and I did not bother making a video, and I sold it. I didn't loathe it, but I really couldn't think of anything interesting to say about it. So I got one, and I sold it without making a video. I think I got it in a trade with somebody. And, uh, yeah, so I just sold it. This didn't, it's, it's easy to write reviews or to write, to, to make videos. I've been writing reviews for the new site, so I've got writing in my mind. I've got a few banked up. It's going to be good. But anywho, um, it's easy to do a review of a product that I hate. It's easy to do a, pro, a review of a product that I love. The ones that are hard are the ones that I'm just kind of, meh. That's, that, that's the ones that are tough. Um, got your stinger in your hand right now. Love seeing it on the table. I hope you're still talking about the knife slick. I assume you are. Yeah, I don't love it, but don't hate it. Yeah, exactly. It was just, I was so mediocre. And I was just like, yeah, whatever. Show me the Malibu? Yeah, I actually have another Malibu coming. Um, 
I have the blue reverse Tanto one coming. So uh, yeah, they uh, they are. So if I have one coming, that means they're going to dealers. I actually know they're going to dealers. There's a whole batch of them going out to dealers. Again, I know same thing. I was complaining about the Tanto. They're gonna hit dealers right when everybody's broke at Christmas time, but maybe that'll give some people a bit longer to go find one. But yes, they are coming. I'm getting a blue reverse Tanto. So um, this is the Warren Cliff one. This is actually the very first production Malibu. Is this is the very, very first one off the line. So they did the Warren Cliffs first. I think they thought the Warren Cliffs were going to be more popular, and that doesn't seem the way that it is. I really like the look of the Warren Cliff. A lot of people don't. But um, yeah, I have the uh, reverse Tanto. I don't think anybody hates it, but people just like the reverse Tanto better. But I have that one coming uh, pretty quickly. Yeah, mine's not numbered. I just, it, mine is before they were even numbered. <laughs> this is just the very, very first one. Because they wanted to get me one with a quickness. I can't remember why it was. There was a very specific reason. It was for a, oh, it was for, um, it was for a launch thing with uh, coordinated, it was like Slicey Dicey and Knives Illustrator when I worked there. And um, yeah, it was a whole, like, that's why I got it first. Now I remember why. Triple E C says, I feel like I failed as a reviewer. Still unchecked on the Malibu Waypoint or Stinger. Yeah. I'm going to say you're a failure. I'm just going to say you're a slacker. How about that? <laughs> no, these things cost money. And it's until you get to be big enough that companies will just send you stuff, whether it be loaners or gratis or whatever. Yeah, it takes a minute. Um, did you settle on that color handle on your... Did you choose or settle on that color handle on your 20? I chose it. I definitely chose it. I will say, in the, uh, right after Christmas, um, maybe getting another one, because there's a sheep's foot one coming out, and, uh, this one is not titanium, and I want one. So, uh, right after Christmas, you may see a lot of knives for sale, because I have to pay for a titanium sheep's foot 8020, because I want one, and I don't want to get rid of this one. So it means I got to get rid of some other stuff. But uh, yeah, I really want a full titanium one. Gots to gots to gots to have it. Ian Sharp, you interested in a Medford knife at all? Or is it tickle your fancy? Um, the company doesn't tickle my fancy. I like some of the knives, but yeah, you're not, you're not going to see those on here. Uh, Brian, fight MC for his. Pretty sure MC would destroy me, Simon. Um, I think I'd probably know what I'm doing a lot better than me. Or uh, I think I'd know what? I think I know what I'm doing a lot better than him, but he's a he's a big, strong boy. I think if he landed a good shot, I would fold in half because I am a broken old man. And he's, what, 10 or 15 younger, years younger than me and jacked. <laughs> so I don't think uh, I don't think I could take him. He, he'd have some marks on him, but I'm pretty sure he would fold me like a house of cards. Um... Stasis says, sell me yours. No, I want to keep them both. That's the idea. Uh, EDC202, can you take Nick Shabazz? Oh, absolutely, for sure. Oh, yeah. He would it, He would admit that in a minute. I would destroy Shabazz. It wouldn't even be five seconds. Uh, how old are you? I'm 45. We can't let Metal catch you on Insta. Yeah, I know. He's. I don't know what he does. He always gets just like... I don't know. He just decided I want more Instagram followers and he's got them. But he knows what he's doing with his algorithm stuff. And I don't pay enough attention to that. So um, John Cortrell, Nick, Nick would run away. I'd catch him. Uh, you can't destroy Batman. Yeah, he, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I, people jokingly refer to me as his Robin. Um, remember Nightwing? Yeah, I think I'm more of a Nightwing. Young enough to be my grandson. Uh, where is the best place to sell some of my old knives, bluegrass scenarios? Right now, probably the Blade Forums. I'm still trying to get my site up. It's probably going to be the first year now because of the holidays. But um, when my site is up, I hope, I hope it will be the best place. That is the primary focus of it. And that is what is holding everything up. Uh, is because I want to get all the pay structure correct and make everything all good and secure for you guys. So... Um, 
uh, Cato or Nightwing, um, Nightwing, and who the hell does stand up in Rochester? Lots of people. It's th Rochester is actually an excellent stand up city. We have one of the biggest comedy clubs in the Northeast. It's a really, really good stand up city. It might not have been when you were here, but it definitely is now. Uh, Andy Seal, what do you? Th well, it, when the when the freaking virus is over, it will be again. Uh, Andy Seal, what do you think about Alliance Design Bangerang? Never seen it. Shabazz versus Metal is what the people want. I, I don't think it would last very long. I really don't. I love I love Nick, but he's a he's a lover, not a fighter. Uh, tis the selling season. Yeah, but it's really hard to sell stuff right now. I mean, I'm broke, and I have I have lots of stuff that I'm going to be able to sell. Like next week, I have lots of knives coming that are immediately just review and let go. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to hold them till after the first of the year because right now, if you try and sell stuff, you lose you lose money. I tried to sell some expensive stuff. I mean, I took a bath on that Riot that I just sold. It's a uh, really hard Spartan Harzi looks like the Crush Reeve Impinda Chris Reeve Impinda I don't I don't really see that at all maybe in pictures but in person I don't see that at all um now that you mentioned it I was gonna ask when oh yeah the, the site yeah Hopefully right after first year. I got to make sure I have everything all right because I'm really leaning in on it being mostly a buy and sell site with some reviews for me and some little discussion areas for you guys. But it's going to be mostly just a place for everybody to buy and sell stuff. I think that is the future of it. I think that's what people are going to want, uh, going to care about the most. And some of you will want to read my reviews instead of watching them. So, um, best Italian restaurant in Rochester, Rockies, hands down. I think Rockies is gone. I did eat there, but I don't think it's still around. Tony D's is still here. That's really good. Um, so, of all the YouTube knife channels, what reviewer has the worst looking hands? Me. Oh, it's definitely me. Look at this. I'm 45. These are the hands of an 85-year-old man. And it's like my whole family has these terrible hands. Even my poor daughter and my son have these terrible hands. It's definitely me. I absolutely have the worst hands. No doubt. Um, a lot seem to be a lot of cold steels. I'm going to hold out one in, in one code four. Um, yeah, I, I thought about buying some more cold steels, but you know what? I looked at my little collection, and I'm actually, uh, actually pretty happy with them. Yeah, Stasa, but yours are extenuating circumstances, so I'm not gonna not gonna call you out for that. Yours are yours are a badge of honor. You survived what a lot of people would not have survived. So I don't think anybody should ever talk smack about your hands. Mine are just because I have terrible Irish and Scottish genetics. Uh Tackle Central Fishing, will Cold Steel become Gerber? I'm Honestly, at this point, I hope it's that good. It's it's getting it's I've heard stuff that's not not encouraging at all. So uh yeah, I think Gerber is the best we can hope for at this point. So I'm not gonna get into specifics, but all I'm gonna say is a lot of stuff you're seeing in videos is uh, not true. Just not true. And that's not a good thing to start out with so when you're making promo videos with information that's just not not accurate so um yeah i don't know good god you're transparent man i know i am <clears throat> it's awful they're all wrinkly part of it is because i spent a lot of my life outdoors but um but my mother, and like I said, even my my son and my daughter have old man hands. Mr. McKenzie, anybody else not really care about cold steel? I think a lot, I think most people do care about cold steel, uh, McKenzie, just because it's um they were unique, you know, um, and now they're not going to be. So they did stuff that nobody else did, and that was great. 
But I guess mystery solved as to why uh, Andrew said, I wouldn't know there's never going to be an 8020 made by Cold Steel. That mystery is solved. Triple E says, it's the ghost of Slicey Past. Yep. Uh, Ian Sharp says, you put a Texas Speed 427 in your truck. It's a long bed. Uh, I would worry about chassis issues. Um, <clears throat> I am doing some stuff to it. Uh, I did put some new boots on it um, this week because the old tires were uh, plastic because they were 10 years old. And it was sliding all over. Could not manage to get winter tires for it. Was impossible. Called five different tire shops. Nobody could get them. Even called Bridgestone directly to get Blizzax. Nope. Uh, February was the estimate. So I just put a uh, Cooper, uh, brand new Cooper All Seasons on it. And we will see how it does. I ran a lot of forms. Keep it full of gas because the gas tank is right near the rear axle. Keep it full of gas, throw some weight in the back, and it'll be fine. And I detuned it back to the stock tune. So now I have some other mods that still jack the horsepower up, but on the stock tune, it's only about 330 horsepower. So it should be tolerable. I mean, care about how I think it was a good company, good knives, but of a stretch to say anybody else makes weapons of war that exist, but they're specialized companies, not knife companies. Yeah, they just had such a wide range of stuff. Love the truck, by the way. I want to snatch a 69 F100 and do a 351 board, 427, 5-speed, and Ian Sharp. It sounds good for a Ford. Actually, I don't have... I have an allegiance to Chevy because I have one at the moment. <laughs> I never really had a... I'm not a real, like, allegiance to car brands kind of guy. Oh, uh, I bought the Ohlone Rodeo in white, giving it to my son for Christmas. Beautiful knife. Thank you for the view. You're very welcome. I did sell mine, but it's because it was always dirty. And I was always cleaning it. And it uh, it kind of annoyed me. I kind of expected that when I got it, though. There's nothing nothing wrong with the knife. It's just that it was white. So it was just, I was always having to clean it. Miss my 64 Chevy short bed step side. Yes, I would do very bad things for one of those, John. Uh, the 2018 Suburban came stock with 303 and three horsepower. Weighs more than that. Many more weights, though, yeah. Um, what are your three most used knives of 2020? Most Matic ass in all caps. I just, I did a video about that. I did my most carried knives. So um, you can go check that out. Uh, always had good luck with GMC and Chevy trucks. Yeah, I like Ford cars better, but um, I do like, uh, I do like um, my GM trucks. Uh, did your dog ever bite you? Um, not this one. No, not the one that's, not the one we currently have. My old one did. Um, the only thing I like about modern Chevys is, is uh, I think if I was rich and I could buy any truck, it would be a Ford Raptor because I want something like that. And Chevy doesn't make anything like that. Uh, you got to stop with the all caps, most Matic. It's, it's really annoying. Uh, if you could do a special factory order with any maker, who would it be with? Um, probably Ria, I think is probably the best the best uh, OEM. Hell of a good one. See you later, Stasa. Oh, by the way, um, this is going to be the last one we do at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Tried to be nice to OCD for EDC. I love those guys. Great. I love hanging out on their show. I moved it to 7 because I sometimes run over an hour and I didn't want to run into their show. But, um... This is a pain in the, this is a total pain in the ass to do this at seven. I'm rushing around to get dinner and everything before I can start the show, going back to eight. And sorry, OCD, I tried. I made an effort. I'm not doing it out of spite to you guys. It's just, this is so inconvenient to do it at seven. I'm just done with it. So, yeah. Stas has got a Raptor. Yeah, he does. I've seen pictures of it. It's awesome. And I think, I think it's better for you guys to have it at 8 as well. Because I know a lot of you guys, too, sometimes, like, when the when the weather was better, you guys would say, oh, I'm, I'm going out to the grill or whatever. So everybody else is making dinner and stuff at this time of day. So, yeah, we're doing, going back to 8. Sorry, OCD. Sorry, Molly. Didn't, I, it's not out of spite. It's just, this is horribly inconvenient, and I'm tired of it. I made a shot, and it just didn't work. Focus ST is a good car, Naf Sergeant. 
No, Focus ST is pretty fun. I'm going to be getting a new daily next next year, and that's actually Focus ST is actually, actually Fiesta ST is on my list. Um, Fiesta ST is uh, pretty pretty likely one that I might get. It's going to be that or the WRX if I have more money than I think I will, but it might be Fiesta ST. Uh, Camaro. I'd really like to have a Camaro, but I can't see a damn thing out of them. Yeah, the Focus S Focuses Foci are a little breaky prone. I broke one of myself once, a rental. I destroyed the transmission in it. Cruising a mid '90s Chevy one ton with two wheel drive, forty four. Per that's a great truck, Grumpy Grunt. What are you talking? That's an awesome truck. I like older stuff. Like I, that's why I like my truck. It's an 06, and that's kind of about as new as I want. Uh, are they manual only? The Fiesta STs are manual only. James Healy, any motorcyclists here? Kind of. I have one in the garage, but I haven't ridden it in two years, three years. And it's not really a motorcycle. I have a Suzuki Bergman 650 Executive, the big giant scooter. Girlfriend has a Fiesta ST with a mountain pack. Great car. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do, James Healy. I would, I would probably wouldn't even drive it before I got the mountain stuff put on it. I uh, gotta retrain wifey on the clutch. My wife refuses to learn how to drive manual, but she won't need to. My my daily can be a manual. She won't even have to drive it. Or I might be really boring and horrible and get an electric car. We are really considering it. My wife just got... I wish she was still here so you guys can congratulate her. Um, my wife just got a really big raise. And um, when we buy the new house next year, if we could get a charger installed on it and thrown in the cost of the house, yeah, I might, we might get an electric car. We might get a Tesla Model 3. Just the most absolute basic one. Because in New York, with all the... Uh, all the benefits and all that stuff, they're only about 30 grand. And, uh, yeah, I think I might get a Tesla. Exactly, Jesse, you have to have a house with a charger. That's it, or it's completely pointless. But I like, I like manual transmissions and exhaust noises and my pop pops and all that stuff. And it would be tough. The only one I'd give it up for is a Tesla. I we, I spent like a, a full day the other day with my wife sitting in front of the computer off and on just researching electric cars. And that's the only one that we are remotely interested in is a Model 3. Everything else is just hot garbage. Uh, Ford Mach-E. I don't know what those are supposed to cost yet, though. I think they're going to be like 60 or 70 grand. And you got a condo, of course, this Model X only costs $15 a month for electric. Yeah, we get really, really, really stupid and cheap electricity here in Rochester, too. Because, like, the hydro plant, I can, like, almost see. Um, steel type and price on that? On what? I don't know what you're talking about. And we have the, te we have the, the Subaru all-wheel drive for the winter. Um, and then... Uh, um, I have my truck. Tesla would be the car that would probably get driven the most. The other, the other, the Subaru would be the winter car because I can only afford the rear wheel drive Tesla, not the all wheel drive. So, Nitro V or 100 bucks. Yeah. Model Y. I don't think that's out yet, though, is it? Um, Hummer EV is awesome. <laughs> I would, I would love to have one of those, but they're $120,000. Oh, God, I would love to have one. Coastal SR1 just got one an SR. We'll talk about knives again now. How about that? This is the knife channel. Coast yeah, the Coastal SR1 and S35. Um, I was uh I, I that's one I that's the one cold steel I'm tempted to buy before whatever happens, happens. Nitro V, what the F is that? It's um it's a steel. It's uh fairly corrosion resistant. It's not bad. I would put edge retention somewhere on S35 VN level. Very common on fixed blades. Um not as common on folders. That's why you probably don't know what it is. On folding knives, it's pretty uncommon. But very common on on uh, high-end fixed blades. Uh, you'll see it all, all, all kinds of places. But 
I'm a fan. It's pretty good. Back to knives. I've got my Spartan Plague Doctor today. Love, so in love with that. Congratulations, David. I almost got one of those, but I got the COVID edition hinderer. So I already have my knife to commemorate my battle with COVID. John, yes, the Drop Perpetua is Nitro V. That's the only two I know of in folders is the Stinger and the Perpetua. Ian Sharp, 80-10 or 80-20? Um, Evolutionist, when Cold Steel switched a bunch of knives from XHP, I so it will pick up a XHP Broken Skull for 60 bucks. I only have one XHP Cold Steel. I have the American Lawman is XHP. Compared to R RWL 34 steel. Yeah, it's an equivalent to... Uh, da, da, da. Oh, you're going to... I hurt my head. Is it the M390 equivalent or is RWL 34 equivalent to like 154 or something like that? Uh, Howard, is is the CPM 20 CV to sharpen on the mail? Blue? Joseph Diaz, I can actually answer that. Yeah, 154, that's right. I, I knew it was... The M There's one that's an M390 equivalent that's an RWL though, isn't there? Or an RWL something? Anyway... Yes, Joseph, I just actually sharpened this uh, day before yesterday. It's fine. Not bad at all. It's It feels like it should. 20 CV is perfectly fine as long as you take a minute. I did it on my uh, on the little precision adjust. I didn't even break out the fancy system. I did it on the precision adjust. Um, work sharp. It took about eh, 20, 30 minutes. It was getting pretty dull. Uh... I noticed it when I was uh, doing the video for my, because um, I just got everything out to handle it just to make sure before I did that video, my top 10 knives of the year, 100 to 300, I did make sure I got it out and, um, and uh, I realized it was pretty dull. So, so I'm going to put, throw myself on the fire here. Uh, what, what did you guys think I missed for all of you that have actually bothered to watch the videos? What did you think I missed in my uh, my best knife of the year videos? The answer is probably going to be I didn't handle one. But tell me what ones you thought I missed. I'm interested to hear. Thoughts on CPM 3V and S30 conclusion both. Um, they're soon not be like comparing them. 3V is totally different. Um... 3V is an awesome steel. S30 is just kind of common now. And it's a little chippy. Um, it's one of those steels I'm kind of getting tired of. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, John Cottrell, Hogue Decca. The Decca was in last year. That's why it wasn't on there. Hinder Half-Track Warney. Very limited edition. That's why it wasn't on there. Or trust me, it would have been. Because I love the Half-Track Warney, but very limited edition. Um... Medford gentleman jack slip joint. I don't, I don't do Medfords, so that's why. Uh, what do you think S forty five V? And it seems pretty good so far. I mean, I I've I have it on a couple of different knives that get fairly good use. This being one of them. I think it's a little better than S thirty five, but not dramatically so. Not dramatically so. Which is S thirty five V N. Edge holding is a bit better than three V, but it's nowhere as near as tough. I don't agree with that. I, I get a lot better edge holding out of 3V than S35VN. MJ, uh, what's the beef with Medford? I don't really want to get into it. His videos that aren't... He, his non-knife-related rants um, rub me the wrong way. Uh, yeah. So, um, yep. Uh, I like the guy. Everybody thinks that we don't like each other. I like the guy, but uh, don't want to don't wanna promote it as long as he's still doing those videos. If he ever stops doing that stuff, um, I'll be right back on it. But, um, yeah, until he does. Nope. Um, any experience with Teravantium? Uh, yes, I made a whole voice about it. It's actually just Cobra Commander voice. But, yeah, I did a video about the uh, Terrain 365 we have to stop the Joes from getting the Teravantium. Uh, we banter. I didn't put that on because that was a tough one. The we one was tough. I'm glad you brought that up, Josh. That was the toughest thing. Um, 
because I try and limit it to just one per manufacturer. And the reason why I do that is because if I have a favorite one from a manufacturer, I could put three more in, but they're just filling up spots. They're not going to win because there's already another one I like better. You know what I mean? From that same manufacturer. So I just try to limit to one per manufacturer. And um, with Wii, I just, the kite fin, the price and stuff is just so good. And yeah, because I could have gone with the Wii Gava, the Banter, or the kite fin. And finally, it just went in and um, it just went, in, it went down to the kite fin. I just, I, I think the price point on it, and it's so light. That's why the kite fin made the top 10 and not the banter. Uh, thoughts on CKF Tackle Central Fishing? I've never owned one. I've handled a lot, and they're amazing. Uh, I never owned one. I will someday. That's kind of... Oh, I'm sorry. I did own one. I forgot all about it. I did own one. Uh, not for very long, because it's not the one that I had a Satori. But it's not the one I would have chosen. Uh, it was a gift from a viewer. And he told me I could sell it. And I sold it and bought two knives that got a lot of views on the channel. So I um, I definitely... I reinvested in the channel. It was a great investment. It was an amazing gift. But um, it was a beautifully made knife. I really liked it, and I tried to love it and tried to keep it, but uh, I just couldn't. Um, but they make some cool stuff. I was thinking uh, Shiro for some reason when you said CKF. That's why I said I had made one. Uh, why the Ortis when the Dogma is almost the same, only slightly bigger? Because the Dogma is more expensive, and I don't think it's any better. And I like the size of this better. So, yeah. I picked the Ortis instead of the Dogma because I like the Ortis better. <laughs> that makes any sense. Uh, what's your opinion on Civivi's Damascus? Pretty good. It's uh, mostly 9CR, which I love their 9CR, so no problem there. Uh, is there anything more premium out there that is what the Civivi Rustic Gen is? I love mine. It's probably nicer stuff. Oh, there's lots of stuff out there like that if you search around. I would go, the best place to look would be collectorknives.net, I think their site is. They have a lot of really cool stuff in that sort of uh, traditionally sort of uh, price range. Uh, yeah, and I got one in a tray. Want my spot? So, are we talking about North Arm Skahas? Because man, I miss mine. You guys have spots. If you guys have spots, I have to talk. Um, outdoor analyst, do you like Medford due to them being libertarian? Or it's not. It's not libertarian. I'm not. It's it's yes. It's because of his opinions, but that's not. What he says is not libertarian. That's not the stuff that upsets me. Um. I'm not getting into it any more than that. Uh, does CRK do good Damascus work? I've never had one. So uh, I don't know. Um, oh, so everybody's getting emails about Skaha's right now, huh? What box do I need to check to be able to order autos from Blade HQ living in New York? Tim Simcoe, you need to have a YouTube channel with 20,000 followers, and you can say that it's for review purposes. That's, uh, there's not a box. There's not a box I check. Um, I have an exemption because of that. It's my job, so I'm allowed to get them. Uh, would you recommend the 3.25 inch Harsey over the four inch? Uh, no, not if, um, I would get, if you can carry the four inch comfortably, I do prefer the four inch, but, uh, this is just a much better EDC size for sure. This disappears in the pocket. The four inch will never disappear in your pocket. You're always going to know it's there. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, I, I like the big one better. Do you handle an Olamic whippersnapper this year? Uh, only, like, at the show. I didn't really get a chance to really check one out long-term. Uh, why no Spider Co's in your 2020 choices? Have you mentioned that? There were. The uh, Canis was in the 100 to 300. You must have only watched one of the three videos. They weren't in the over 300 because they don't make much in that size, in that price, and they weren't in the under 300, or in the under 100 because I don't like their budget stuff. Uh, my North Arm collection is all kitchen knives. Their kitchen knives do look amazing. 
I think the 3.25 is the perfect for my fits my medium hand as well. Yeah, it does fit a lot of people, Jesse, very well. But it, it, for me, I just I just kind of prefer the bigger one. But I I do carry this one more, but I prefer using the bigger one if that makes any sense. Which it probably doesn't. But that was on the Spiderco bombshell. Eh. Eh. Um, Malibu was a catch and release for me. Why do you think everyone loves it so much? Because it's very nice. I just love the action on it. I love the ergos on it. I love the size of it. It's got a really nice deep carry clip. It's built extremely well. That is why. Uh, most recommended cold steel. Um, code 4, I think, if you're only going to have one. Uh, see you later, Oaken. Um, can I bring up the Bounty Hunter? Do I ask Minnie Osborne? Yeah, we'll switch some stuff out here, so... We'll leave the we'll leave the winners. Screen times for closers. And we'll bring out some other stuff. I do have the 545 right here because it is going to uh this is going out to MC tomorrow. Um Yeah, let's ask for the bounty hunter. Ah god. There we go. And there's the bounty hunter. Uh, after getting my Freeman 405 451 Auto, I want Malibu even more. Button locks are fun. Button locks are a lot of fun. Absolutely for sure. Uh, Bill's game's about to start. Have a good night. Sorry. Sorry about your damn luck. I'm just assuming that the Bills will lose. Actually, they're not bad this year, are they? I haven't even attention. I'm a Jets fan, so why would I possibly pay attention to football? It just makes me sad and unhappy. Somebody asked about the DECA earlier. I had been carrying the DECA more. So we'll bring that out. Gratuitous plug donation. Yes, go go to One Minute Knife Review. I actually do subscribe to you, so I don't mind saying that. And yeah, the Super Chat is open. I have not mentioned that once tonight because I'm terrible at doing this. Uh, I want that silly Kaiser Swags just for the button lock. Yeah, what's up with her? I don't know what is... Um, she doesn't post about knives anymore at all. That sharp and pointy swags thing. It's like she released those knives and vaporized. I don't know what happened. Jets do have a perfect record. Perfect record for that number one draft pick, yo. Sorry I said yo. I don't know if that's a new thing that happens sometimes. It's a Farron Forge Stinger similar to the Kite Fen. Um... No, no, it's its its own deal. Is Decky discontinued? Can't find the satin clip on here. No, it's definitely not discontinued, MJ. It's just, it's Hoke is, you know, made in the USA, and a lot of made in the USA manufacturers just, sometimes people freak out. It happened with the Malibu, too. It, as soon as they go out of stock, they're like, are they discontinued? No, it's just, it's an American manufacturer, so they don't come out in massive, huge amounts uh, quite as frequently. Um... Am I a Leatherman fan? Yes, I have. Uh, I just showed this earlier because somebody was asking about the T4, and I didn't know yet. The, this is my Leatherman Free P4. And then I have a uh, one of the really older ones in my truck. I can't remember the name of it now. Rebar. That could just reappeared in Blade HQ recently. Yeah, and I know they just had the. They had some, uh, some on SMKW as well. Um. Close up of the bounty hunter. It is. It does look. It looks even better up close. It's already pre beat up. So uh, new C Microtech is releasing a pocket. I did see that. The uh, I don't remember the name of it, Ben. Um, Exoset. Yeah, in the in the bounty hunter. I would almost rather have that than this, but I have this, and I'm not going to swap. But it would just. I would carry that all the damn time. Uh, what's there between S30V and S35VN? Which one is better than the other? I'm not going to get into all the, like, metallurgy, because I suck at that stuff. Um, S35VN has a little better edge retention, and in my experience, is, is easier to sharpen. S30V is a little chippy. I have never found an S30V that wasn't, wasn't a little chippy, if you get a little over-exuberant with the sharpening. Uh, I think my first OTF, uh, will be the Recon 035. And you're welcome, uh, BL. Uh, Chase, thanks for your time, Commander, for making videos. Always look forward. Thank you very much, Chase. I appreciate that, and thank you for the donation. 
Uh, so I mentioned Recon 035. I have mine out here because I was carrying it yesterday. So it's, it's right here. And I love my Recon 035. If you're going to have one OTF, I think that is a very darn good choice. This is the carbon fiber inlay one, but um, I just love the action on those. It's just silly good. Uh, one of Guardian Tactical OTF. They are very, very nice. They're a little harder to get your hands on even the Microtex, but um, but you can. This one I I really, really wanted. I really, really wanted one of these. I bought a used one from Jeremy Russell was on here, and I've told the story a thousand times, and it just wasn't really camera ready. So um, in good shape. Still not camera ready. And I sold it, and then I wanted one of these, and I couldn't find it, and didn't have one for two or three months. Then this just popped up. I just was browsing around somewhere, and it was just, and it was there. So I snagged it. I have the Recon 025 and want the 035 instead. I would like to try the 025, but I, I don't think I would need it. I want the 040. The big one. Now that I have a taste of $200 plus knives, I'm holding out for a Neutron. That's a good one, Jesse. So your free knife is costing you 200 and, uh, 200 bucks, yeah. Mr. McKenzie Slicey wants bigger. Yeah, I do like bigger knives now. I don't know, it's just kind of the way I am. But in my top 10, almost everything was kind of medium-sized stuff except for this, which isn't even, the 8020 is really not that big. It's bulky. It's not not that huge. Recon 030, I want to recon 035 or 040, but I like orange and the distressed orange Microtex looks so good. They do. My uh, Hellhound's distressed gray. I just love the distressed because it's already scratched up and I can just carry it. And if it gets a mark on it, no one will know. Insingo or drop point on CRKs? Insingo. Uh, do you have a favorite knife? It, it changes week to week and which one's new that kind of stuff i'm gonna turn my fan on here so it's gonna get a little loud er there we go it's getting kind of toasty in here Whew, i'm wearing a long sleeve t-shirt so uh getting a mini osborne in the mail tomorrow can't wait it's a nice knife i really do like it a lot i just wish it didn't have a coated blade i think that's just that's just a sea of dumbs. I don't know why the first version of it was coated blade only, but. C'est la vie. Er, I'm cold. Well, I'm, I, I'm in an attic office, so all the heat being produced downstairs is rising up into my office, so. Uh, Keyshav is a pinion EDC fixed blades. I don't carry a fixed blade at all. I find stuff on my belt or in the small of my back and all that horribly annoying um, I know a lot of people do, but, and also it's, it's pretty illegal, um, here, so, Spartan Man, spray foams, bro, lol, I rent the place, I don't own it, so, um, can't really go spraying spray foam around in a rental house. I had a Barker River, I borrowed from somebody, I don't, I just don't like anything on my belt area, so... I will probably never carry a fixed blade. It always annoys me, no matter what it is. It's just a weird thing I have. And it's illegal here, so concealed fixed blades are illegal. So I'm not going to deal with that. I'm sure I could get away with it because of my job, but I just don't. I don't enjoy carrying a fixed blade. Um, or a flashlight, or anything on my belt. Da, da. Guardian Tactical 035. Oh, I didn't see if you asked for this. Yes. This is the Guardian Tactical 035. You can see that little logo on there. Um, That's why I like it. That action is just fun. Uh, so much easier to operate than a... It just less, less effort needed than on a Microtech. Um... I've always had the same belt items, including keys and phones. Yeah, Tim Simcoe. I just don't like it. I just, I don't even wear a belt unless I have to. I thought it was, I made a snarky comment. I should have probably apologized to the guy. But, um, I had a, uh, a guy say, oh, you, because I mentioned in a video I don't like belts. And he said, oh, 
what, you wear suspenders like a dork trying to make fun of me? I said, no, I buy pants that fit me. I'm, <laughs> I don't even like belts, not to mention, not to mention stuff on a belt. I just don't like stuff around my waist. I have these, this brand called Arcade that makes these amazing, like, st stretchy tactical belts that are tough enough you could hang something from if you wanted to. They have nice, really comfortable little plastic clips on the front of them. You get them at REI. Those are great. I have like two of those. That's all I ever want. When I have to dress up, the tie doesn't bother me. I don't usually wear a tie. That's not with my look. But if I do have to wear a tie, ties don't bother me. The belt bothers me. If I'm wearing like a suit, it's the belt that drives me nuts, not the tie. Uh, I want an 80-20, but considering getting the demo built. They're all Demco built. Um, it's just you get the machine ground or the um, the hand ground blade. The rest of the knife's all the same. They're all built by Demco. Um, I would get the I would get the MG. No, I don't think it's worth the four hundred bucks. Um, so concealed concealed fixed blades illegal here in New York. They're illegal here in Rochester. I don't know about where you're at. I don't give I don't give legal advice. Um, I will not wear suspenders. Like I said, I just buy pants that fit. Uh, what's everyone carrying? You missed it, Jesse. Weren't you on here? In Geneva. Yeah, it's not that far away at all. Hopefully this uh, global bastard will end and we'll all be able to get together. I had a, I had a whole big uh, meetup planned for a couple weeks before Thanksgiving. And then it happened. Um, carrying 940-1. I had that the other day. I, had mine, uh, I hadn't carried it in a very long time. Well, thank you, M237. I appreciate it. Now, I'm trying to put together an event for a little gathering thing and a stand-up show. Um, we had it all, like, ready to go. We don't need to talk about Swag's other, other hobby on here. I'd really rather not get into that if that's all right. Um, I wish Demco would do smaller versions. They're going to be more of the Shark Lock knives, absolutely for sure. So, um, F Evil E favorite fifth carry knife, uh, probably Spider Call Little Native. Uh, what sharpening system do you use? Watch I use? I, I most I mostly currently use the new Knife Sharp. Um, uh, precision adjust sharpener they just came out with it's like 60 bucks it's great um i do have a viper sharp that i use for more serious stuff but i am going to get something else next year i'm looking at a ts prof just because i want to be different than everybody else and not have a kme um but it's just because i want to be different i know the kme might be better i, I just want to be different uh have you hung on to the cf mini freak i have for now chase i'm not sure it's going to be a like forever forever thing but um, I do really like it still. It's a nice knife. Actually, I have it right here because <laughs> uh, I was using it for a size comparison for a video you guys haven't seen yet. Um, but no, yeah, I still got it. I, I do really, really like it. Um, and if it was not as expensive, it'd be a forever keeper. But it costs so much that I'm I, in the back of your head, you're thinking, oh, I could probably get 220 bucks for that. You know, when you look at it, you're like, yeah, I don't know. A uh, little native compression lock or lock back? Compression lock. Really like my Kami. Everybody does. I completely accept that the Kami is probably the best one. Um, but I just want to, I don't want to have the same thing as everybody else. Jeremy, you do prefer the TS Prof. Good. That's good to know. Uh, Benchmade is way too expensive. They just over it. They We didn't want S90V and carbon fiber. We just wanted G10 and M4, like the big one. And we didn't get that, so... Hello, Mark Molly. Mole. Mole. Molly, Molly, Molly. Sorry, I want another Austin Powers movie. And I always make an excuse to make an Austin Powers reference because I was not done with Austin Powers. I wanted another one. Um, any thoughts on dagger knives? Seem interesting, but I see major. Uh, daggers are also illegal here. Is it Molly? Oh, cool. 
I, I was just making an Austin Powers reference, but it's it's good to know that it was uh, that that's actually how you say it. Yeah, Dagger Knives Double Edge have big legal issues in lots and lots and lots of places. The world needs Austin Powers right now. I agree. I went back and watched another one. Um, I was probably it was when I was sick, so a few months ago. I watched the original, and I was thinking, ah, that's, uh, I couldn't make that one anymore. <laughs> You'd have to change a lot about it. Uh, do you have a spider code domino? I did for quite a while, and I sold it. I kind of regret it, but not hugely. Uh, just wait until Mike Myers runs out of Shrek money. I think he's kind of done, Tim Simcoe. I think he'd rather just do voiceovers. Dagger Knives is a manufacturer of folding. Well, I didn't know that. It's also a kind of knife. I've never heard of them then. An Austin Powers Christmas movie being great. I concur. Uh, what was somebody asking about? It's just under 300. You're talking about the uh, waypoint? I did notice that Shabazz put the waypoint on his over 300, but it isn't. It's it's 295. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but I was expecting people to ask questions about that, but um do you prefer the feel of the smock button lock or the protec? Protec. Uh I mean an Austin Powers joke including the Britney Spears robot guns. Nice, Jesse. Well played reference. I got a well-played reference, Dad, from uh, my son today, which I thought was a victory, because he and his girlfriend got in my truck, and um, it, uh, I was playing um, Kylie Minogue, and uh, his girlfriend didn't understand why I was playing. She goes, is that the radio? I said, no, it's on purpose. I like Kylie Minogue. I said, I'm a question wrapped inside Enigma, which is a MC Chris Fetz Vet line. And he said, nice reference. Uh, any word on Cold Steel 8020? I don't know what you mean. What, what your reference to when they're going to be available, whatever. They're still making them. They come and they go. Uh, does your Harsey feel like a Sabenza outdoor dance? A little bit. Yeah, kind of. It does have kind of that Sabenza y sort of smoothness to it. Um, Freedom Van, you're about to join me for a show. Why do you always shower in when this show's going on, man? Just plan ahead. For God's sake. Or stop telling us. Uh, what are the check marks of a solid collection? Man, I don't it depends on it depends completely on what you're doing and what you want. If you're looking for if you want a one knife collection or if you want to have four or five or if you want to have thirty uh, are Sabenzas really worth the hype? I, I think mostly they are, yeah. Uh, is that a mini freak up top? Yes, it is. Somebody asked about it a second ago, and I meant to put it off camera, but I did not succeed in that, uh, that goal. Um, uh, oh yeah, the show's gonna be later now, so he'll be able to, yeah, we're going back to 8 o'clock, so if anybody pops on OCD for EDC show, I'm probably not going to tonight. I'm gonna go down and take care of the sick doggy, but, uh, yeah. Warn, warn Molly and her husband, which is what I always refer to them as. That yeah, that we may drift into them again coming up because seven o'clock just doesn't work for me. I tried. Uh, birthday is coming up, and I have one hundred fifty bucks. I want a bench made. Any suggestions? Well, one hundred fifty bench made, fairly limited. Um. I get the nicest bug out you can, probably. Uh, I think you should do a vid like MC, the first five knives you buy first if your entire collection was stolen. I kind of do... Everybody does those in different ways. Mine is worded that there can be only one. And I think that basically is the same thing. And I just recently did a there can be only one video. I don't know. Maybe it's different. I don't think about it. Uh, Mini Presidio 2. Oh, yeah. Is that under 150? Yeah, that. Get a mini Presidio too. Uh, the only even remotely comprehensive part of my collection is the pieces made by 
players in the gun manufacturing industry. It's still the amusement and most expensive places in it. Pieces in it. Yeah, and they're mostly yeah, grim, grumpy grunt. I, I almost always say never buy a knife made with a gun manufacturer name on it. With the exception being the ones made by Hoke. The HKs and the uh, SIGs. Because they're made by Hoke. They're really nice. But like Winchester knives and Ruger, with the exception of one CRKT, they're often Smith & Wesson. They're often horrid. I don't bench may make a Presidio 2 and something in S30 other than S30V. I don't know, because they don't, I don't think they sell a lot of Presidios. I don't think it's worth it for them to do uh, more. All right, stuff. Uh, Hogue doesn't make guns, though. Yeah, but they make the knives for the gun brand. So if you buy a HK knife, it's made by Hogue. If you buy a Sig Sauer knife, it's made by Hogue. That's what I'm referring to. And Hogue makes gun grips. That's their main thing. My HK piece is made by, made by Benchmade. Yeah, they quit. Yeah, they, they stopped doing that, though. Uh, you heard about any plans of other Demco models getting a shark lock? That lock is amazing. Yes, I do believe there will be. The old Winchester knives. Nice. Weren't the old Winchester knife cases or something like that? I want to say, like, when, back when they just made, like, old-timey, you know, like, traditional knives. Uh, gotta say this, my opinion, Spider Co. PM2 is the best EDC ever. Isn't it? It's not a bad shout. It's not a bad shout. They're, they're, they are iconic for a reason, that is for sure. Any word on CRKT switching to S45? James Healy, uh, I thought they would have done it by now. I thought... I heard it was going to be done very quickly. Uh, I thought it would be done by now, so I have no clue. Um, uh, Glock does knives. I don't even want to see those. Chest from the truck. TPK. I don't. I don't know. She doesn't like to show her face, so I, I don't think that's going to happen. I know because she could show other things, but. I like to keep my monetization, so I'm probably not going to do that. I do have one of her knives, and I do have a video already recorded for it. But so much stuff is happening at the end of the year that I just haven't put it up yet. If something bad happens with my dog this week, it's a good, likely you're going to see that video because it's already recorded, so I can just upload it and be done. Um, uh, Glock Field Fixed Blade is kind of rip off the USMC... K-Bar fighting knife. I would imagine that if there's Glock knives, they're awful. Uh, how is S45 in? Just covered that. I would answer you, but I'm not being a jerk, but like, you know, literally 10 minutes ago, we were talking about that. I see Magpul knives? No. I'm not a big gun guy, so I don't, I don't notice gun knife brands. Um, uh, yeah, like you guys are mentioning names. I don't even know what these are. <laughs> so I'm, I'm vaguely familiar that Magpul is a thing. I don't know what Double Star is. I used to like guns. I used to have a ton of them when I was a kid. And then and even into like my early adulthood, I used to carry a uh, Beretta 96 40 cal all the time and then I just kind of got I don't know got tired wound up leaving it at the range one day and just left it there yeah the k-bar space force I kind of want one of those it's pretty cool it's stupid it's eminently stupid but it's it's pretty cool I think it's it's past Ridiculous, Nav Sergeant. I think it's full on into just stupid, <laughs> but it's 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 wonderfully stupid. Um, stupid town. In stupid town, go down Crazy Lane. Turn left at Psychotic Avenue. 
Yeah, we talked about that earlier, Carlos. Of course the PM2 Tanto's back this week when I have no money. Of course that's when it's going to come back. I'm so pissed off that that is a Blade HQ exclusive. That was not what I thought the plan for that was. I saw the early production one, at, or the pr production prototype at Spyderco. It was going to be a regular production model. Then all of a sudden when it comes out, it's a freaking Blade HQ exclusive. And that really annoys me. And I have nothing against Blade HQ. I said this earlier, but it's just, even, I'm not, nobody's going to be able to get them. They're going to be gone in two seconds and lovely. Why is that not just a regular production model? It makes no sense. Simon Chow, would you want a Tanto mail? Do I have one on the way? I've got a blue one on the way. Um, compound grind looks so good on the PM2. No freaking moolah. Yep. That's just dub. That's just insult to injury. Not only is the PM2 Tanto an exclusive, but they're going to release it the week before Christmas. What? No, that's no. This isn't. This is the Warrencliffe. Um. I figured I'd get a Tanto PM2 the next drop. Yeah. Yeah, this is the set. I don't think they do this finish. Any. They, oh, yeah, I know they don't. Protect told me. That's another reason not... I'm not selling this one, be, even though I'm getting another one, because this is the first one, first production one they made, and they don't do this blade finish anymore. The new ones are um, uh, Stonewash, I think. Arson Centauri Thoughts. Really nice. Almost made the top ten. No, 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 I mean, yes, I have a reverse Tanto Malibu coming, a blue one. Uh, they should call it the Childless Bachelor model of PM2. It's only people have the money to buy it. Yeah, at this time of year it is. Is that if they made a regular Tanto Malibu, would you want it? I'm not, man, I'm not following your questions. Uh, yeah, I love Tantos. Uh, when is Panto? Or when is PM2 Tanto coming? Allegedly Wednesday, somebody posted. So great, good timing. Uh, full Timascus Centauri worth it. I didn't get one. I, I prefer just the regular one. I don't really love the look of Timascus and all that stuff anyway, though. So, Mark Career, when are you having another sale? Uh, I mean, they always go up on Patreon first, so you might want to join the Patreon because uh, I do have a big sale coming up. I'm gonna try not to do it until. Definitely after Christmas, because I know everybody's broke. Um, I may do it right after Christmas, but maybe some people have some Christmas money. Uh, but more likely, I'm going to try not to do it till after the first of the year. But I am very broke at the moment, so we'll see. Convince me to liking Tantos. Uh, they are being nicely. I like Tantos a lot. They're very, very handy. PM2 Tanto, Wednesday, noon Eastern. Why? Why? I don't know what the giant mouse rib is. Must have missed out on that one. Why is everybody releasing crap right before Christmas? I just, that's lovely. Oh, I do know what the rib is. It's that little bitty one. Uh... Hell rocks, are they more useful than a drop point? Depends on what your tasks are. I think they're very useful for, like, you know, opening boxes and stuff because you just use that secondary point. Oh, mini bibli. Oh, I did see that one. That one actually is kind of cool. I will hit up Giant Mouse and see if I can get one. Uh, probably to make up the cluster that was their online second sale. I don't know what that's for, too. Uh, Bustling Tanto 2020 Arcane Design Necronaut. Did they ever run up? I see some people with those. I thought that the the Kickstarter failed, but I do see some people having it. Uh, nice. Ass. I hate sharpening a Tanto. I don't really mind it. You just got to move stuff. Uh, hit up Giant Mouse for me, 2K. Thanks. I just get loaners from Giant Mouse. I don't get to keep them usually. Um, yes, and Tantos are good if you need a really robust tip for piercing. That's what she said. Uh, bought a Christmas gift to myself, a custom Benchmade Barrage. Now I have mixed feelings. My f One of my first really nice knives was a Benchmade Barrage. Um, I got my 
uh, Manix too lightweight, and I think the next knife I bought was nice. Next nice knife I bought was a Barrage, and uh, I didn't like it. I didn't keep it very long at all. I think as soon as I figured out how to sell knives, <laughs> it was the first one I sold. There's nothing. It's very comfortable. I just don't like the assist. Um, something obscene, namely. I missed the first part. Must be. Just Vivi the Ortis. Yes, it is. This is my budget knife of the year. And most of this stuff is knife of the year. I may have some other stuff mixed up. But these aren't. Well, three of these are not a year. So. Yes, Simon Chow. Good for opening boxes and things with names. Um. Well, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I want to get down and see how my doggy's doing. So I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I'll ask you one last question. Yes, I have a Prolex arriving tomorrow. Um, have a good one. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. And I will uh, see you next week where we will have a Christmassy giveaway. I have two very, very special Christmassy knife-related items that I think you guys are going to like a lot. So see you later.